Hi folks, welcome to Photo Tutorials. I've got another text type font tutorial for you. Um, I'm going to show you how to use a blur box for doing sort of texts for advertising. Come in handy for if you're doing business cards, flyers and brochures and things like that. And it's very simple to use. Um, basically all you need is you need to click on this marquee tool click on the rectangular tool and I've reduced if you have a look up here in this pardon me top left hand corner I've feathered the pixels down to 25 pixels and what I'm going to do is if I can move this up here so I can show you I'm just going to put a blur box round about where this sort of top step is if you like and it's going to run the full width of the photograph and they look quite done, uh, good when they're done and all finished so basically the rectangular marquee, marquee tool and just drag the box all the way along from one end to the other like so I might do a narrower version of that actually do a little bit narrower We don't want it too thick. There we go. Once we've got that selection made there, we're just going to go down into filter and blur, and we're going to go to the Gaussian blur. And I've got it preset there at about 30.5 pixels. Just have a play about with that, just to get the settings right. You've got to give it enough blur so that the text stands out, otherwise it won't stand out properly. See, we still want to see the image um, underneath as well, that blur. Give it 25. I'm going to leave it at 25 for now. So we've got that blurs, blur set. Once we've got it set, we deselect it. And we can use that blur box now to fill in our font. Now we get the font and we just match the font box to the size of the blur box. Like so. And I've just got this um, font opening, I think it's called Dearest Open. the wrong one try a different one there it is we'll give it that one more like it and we just put our text in there um, resize it and all you do to resize it is you just right click on the very end keep your finger on the left mouse button and just drag it oops until you highlight the full type font there and then you just click the type of font that you want there we we'll click on that move tool and we can move that whatever you want Yeah, that'll do us. It's probably not the best colour to use, but we should use maybe a brighter white. 
But as you can see, um, if you're doing any sort of advertising stuff, um, as I say, uh, handouts, flyers, brochures, business cards, this is a good little exercise to use. And you can still see there, you've got, you've got they've still got the background coming through that blur box, and the blur box makes just a nice little background to put some uh, uh, text over the top, like an overlay of text, and it's really uh, quite effective. Make sure your images pop for for advertising purposes. So I hope that's been another useful exercise for you, and I hope you have a play about with it. And thanks again for watching photo tutorials. Till next time.